Hey, welcome to Physiana, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. If that's something you think you'd be interested in, then consider subscribing. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the ECA stack. If you're not familiar with what the ECA stack is, it's also sometimes referred to as the EC stack. And it is a thermogenic stack to increase weight loss. So we're going to be covering if it is effective, how effective it is, and a few more details that you might be interested in. So with that said, in short, sweet, you know it's science-based video. Let's jump into it. You may not be sure about it. You may not know about it. Or you may be completely sold already. But the ECA stack was and still is a common weight loss tool. If you aren't familiar with it, that may be because certain components of the stack are banned in certain countries. The stack is made up of ephedrine, a compound found in the ephedra plant, caffeine, a compound extracted from the veins of the coffee barista, oh whoops, wrong read, a compound found from yet uh, another plant, and aspirin. Damn, another plant. So while most people have been accustomed to thermogenics being a bunch of baloney, it turns out that this combination of ingredients is actually noticeably effective. Essentially, what they do is compound their individual effects by increasing sympathetic drive, acting on heart rate, spontaneous movement, and generally increasing heat production. There certainly isn't anything magical about any of these molecules, but you can expect a calorie expenditure around 120 to 160 calories higher if you spread the stack out every three to four hours. While that may not seem like much, that is a massive increase for literally doing nothing. That said, elements of the stack have been banned in certain countries for good reason because they are potent enough to potentially see increases in blood pressure and while the body may be able to adjust over time some individuals that suffer from known and importantly unknown cardiac issues will be less plastic in their ability to modulate blood pressure which can lead to danger still Although the idea is to dismiss all thermogenics, but in reality, some can have a modest place in a well-designed weight loss protocol. You may be a believer, just don't go too crazy. I think that even if you are in a country where uh, ephedrine or ephedra is banned, uh, it's still a valuable video because you learn that you can't just go with uh, what everybody else is saying. A lot of people like to use generalized statements and like to just say uh, that all thermogenics don't work or uh, this thermogenic or this line of thermogenics absolutely works. And Usually when it's a company, they're going to say, of course, their thermogenic works. And in most cases, a person would be right in being incredibly doubtful or uh, put skepticism on the idea that that thermogenic works. But the idea of this video is that essentially, yes, there are some thermogenics can work. It just depends on the compound that you're using or the series of compounds that you're using. But if you're going to be using a thermogenic, I mean, just think about that thermogenic, you're increasing heat production. You can only do that so, so long and to a certain height in, in heat production because your body's going to suffer from, from situations like that. So just on a rational level, can thermogenics work? Yes, they can. In this instance, absolutely it does. There's plenty of proof that it does. And maybe it does so well that uh, the side effects are uh, severe enough, especially for certain populations, cardiovascular disease risk populations, that countries had to ban it uh, because people were getting, getting themselves into trouble. 
And with that closing monologue, let's go ahead and finish the video up. If you'd like more information, you can always check out the free article, which is linked in the description box. And with that said, I hope that I have the pleasure of seeing you in the very next video. Have a good one.